Happy Throwback Thursday. So I'm on my way to Pizza Hut. I pick up the pizza and I see I see a lot of Mormons out today, and you, you recognize them. They're with the the nice uh, dress shirt, tie, dress pants, shoes to match. Sometimes they're on bikes, but mostly they walk now. And I've noticed that there were two with one man on the street, and then two other Mormon missionaries on the street with another man, and I really wanted to stop and, and ask a few questions, and I would have, except I had to go get the pizza. I'm glad I just missed that ambulance, but I am, I'm going down the street now, and if I see him, I'm going to ask the, a couple questions. And I'm curious to see how they'll answer, because maybe they don't even know the answers themselves. I mean, they're young, who knows? You know, it's just like many of these cults, they, they don't tell their people until they're ready to believe what they want them to believe. I'm sure the passing apartments are probably knocking on doors, handing out the literature. And it's such a false, I don't even know if you could call it a false gospel, Mormonism. I mean, they give out the King James Bible, they used to, I don't know if they still do, but they really go by their Pearl of Great Price, and I forgot the other book, it's been a while since we really did any study on it, but we were well, well versed in it years ago, uh, and when we approach some missionaries once, Mormon missionaries, and ask questions, uh, yeah, your prophet here, he said that Quakers live on the sun and the moon. Now that was back in the 1800s when he said that, so there was no spaceship to disprove such a claim. But they also, and I had a friend who was Mormon, nice girl, and she told me, she admitted. And I, I, and I, and I was just like amazed that, that they believe this and they teach it, that they're gonna be God someday and populate their own planet. I mean, that is the same lie that was told to Eve. garden basically not the new under the sun it's just packaged a little differently but yeah I don't know what it is about people wanting to be their own gods I mean I guess if you think about it when we don't do what God would have us do we're acting like our own gods but to actually sit there and work towards this goal oh and the other crazy thing is if you're married it's the husband who calls you out of the grave on resurrection day so yeah you want to make a lot of money start your own religion that was Dianetics thing so many false religions and, and we were warned Jesus warned take heed no man deceive you because, uh, there's just gonna be so much deception especially as you get closer to his coming to a second coming which of course I believe the rapture is first and then the second coming at the end of the tribulation period which many 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 uh, professing Christians don't believe definitely the reformed Christians don't believe that stuff so, anyway, simple gospel. I, I like it. There was an acronym, KISS, that we learned uh, in boot camp, the Navy. K-I-S-S, -S, keep it simple. Sailor, some said keep it simple. Stupid, I say, keep it simple. Salvation, keep it simple. Sinner. So, when the jailer asked Paul, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? Paul simply said, believe on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved in thy house. And uh, that was it. He got saved. And his house got saved. Because they believed on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. <sighs> anyway. I hope you all have a good day. And I don't see the Mormon missionaries now, so I missed that golden opportunity. And it would have been nice because I'm sure they gave those folks who were really searching for the truth. False answers. It's sad, it's very sad, but that's where we are in these last days.